Those protests over the fatal police shooting of Andrew Brown Jr. in North Carolina. Seven deputies now on leave as Brown's family prepares to view, view police body cam video this morning. Victor Okendo is in Elizabeth City, North Carolina with the very latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Robin. Not only does Andrew Brown Jr.'s family and community want the body cam video released, the sheriff's office here wants it out too, but according to the sheriff, it's not up to him. Only a judge can approve that video to be released through a court order, and that might happen as early as today. No justice! No this morning, a community demanding answers after sheriff's deputies shot and killed 42-year-old father of seven, Andrew Brown Jr. Special advice, Ian Nelson's got one male, 42 years of age, gunshot to the back. According to the Pasquotank County Sheriff's Department, the shooting occurred as deputies who were wearing body cameras were executing warrants related to felony drug charges in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, last Wednesday morning. If any of my deputies broke any laws or violated any policies that come out through this investigation, they will be held accountable. Officials have released few details, but seven sheriff's deputies have been placed on paid administrative leave during the investigation. A neighbor who says she witnessed the shooting says Brown did not pose a threat to the deputies when they opened fire. He was nonviolent. I can, anybody that knew him would tell you that. He was driving away. One of the attorneys representing Brown's family says they were told that investigators did not find any drugs or weapons at the scene. Brown's family is devastated by the loss. And now I got to live every day, my newborn, without even getting a chance to meet him at all. And that's going to hurt me every day. They will view the body cam footage later this morning and are calling for it to be released publicly for transparency and accountability. It's inexplicable why when a black person, especially a black man, runs from the police, not posing any threat of violence to them, that they still see fit to shoot them in the back. And later this morning, Brown's family will be viewing that video privately, and we expect to hear from them after they watch it. George? Okay, Victor, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.